everyone welcome to my channel my name is Lisa and today I am going to set up my May monthly calendar every single month I use a calendar I put down all of my paydays all of my bills that are due any special events uh, things that I need to remember and this helps me to uh, prepare my paycheck budgets because I am a paycheck budgeter so it's nice to see um, on which Fridays my paychecks fall and what bills are due in each pay cycle. Okay, so first off, I am using just the classic size Happy Planner. I got this one off of Amazon for not very much. I think I have this one linked down below. I do have some stickers printed out and I can't remember the name of the shop that um, I got this sticker kit from. I'll try to have it up on the screen or link down below if I can find it. So I've got that. So I've already put the headers, all the dates down because that would be painful for you guys to watch me do that. And then I do have some other stickers that I'm gonna use. And uh, for the most part, I, I have the shop names um, from where I got them. Now, I have a color printer and I have a Cricut. And so the sticker kits that I have or the sticker pages are ones that I purchased off of Etsy. They are printable and it comes with the, um, the file, I can't remember what the name of it, PNG, I think, which is the file for the Cricut. And then it also comes with, or most of them come with the files that you would need to, uh, to cut with the silhouette as well. So um, I will, you know, mention the shop names as I'm using them if I have that available. Okay, well, let's talk about payday first because payday is my personal favorite day. <laughs> um, every time uh, payday comes around, I get super excited and really motivated. Um, now, in the month of May, I'm paid on the 13th and then again on the 27th. And I do have these stickers, and this is from Plan Ahead Printables, and uh, they have a website, www.planaheadprintables.com, but I got these off of Etsy. Um, I have an Epson EcoTank printer, and I really love it. Um, it prints the colors really vivid, and um, I'll have the printer and the sticker paper link down below if you're interested in checking any of that out. So with that said, I was gonna use these two payday stickers from this kit. I just thought they were kind of the perfect colors for the month of May. So I'm gonna throw that up in the corner here. And then my other payday is on the 27th. So only two paydays this month. I was last month um i had three paydays in the month and that was really exciting and i'm sad that this month is not also a three paycheck month okay so that is it for paydays now i do get paid from etsy and youtube but i'm using this calendar just for my personal bills I have a different planner that I use for um, Etsy and YouTube. Okay, so let's talk about my bills. The first bill is rent. So let me grab my, my little rent sticker. And these all came from Thank Sis. She has a um, an Etsy shop. And her Etsy shop name is Thanks Sis Digital Store. And what I like about her shop is that all of these are like around 55 cents a piece. So I know like it looks like I have a lot of stickers and I guess I do, but I didn't pay any more than 50 cents for each one of these, 55 cents, something like that. So super inexpensive. All right, so the first is the rent, and that is due on the first, and my rent is $620, so I'm going to put that in here. Now, today is May the 3rd, so I have already paid my rent with money I earned in the month of April. Okay, 
so there's rent and then next is renters insurance and i've got these little stickers that say house insurance do are those just not the cutest and my insurance is fifty dollars and the house insurance is due on the second of every month and what i like about carol ann just called i have no idea what the last thing was i said but um the house insurance is due on the second Okay, so next is Hulu, and Hulu is due on the third of the month. And again, this came from Thanks Sis. I, I just love her digital store, and there's the name of the digital store if you wanted to jot that down. I'll try to remember to have everything linked down below, but my plan was to have this recorded and uploaded by tomorrow. And I, I don't know if I'll have time to also go back through and get all the links um, put in the description box for you. Okay, so Hulu is $20. It's like $19 and some change, but we're gonna call it 20. And isn't that, isn't that the cutest? Um, and these sticker, the sticker paper that I found on Amazon is made by online labels, but it is the ones that say waterproof. The others are literally paper on paper with a little bit of sticky on the back, and they just did not work very well for me. So if you're in um, the, you know, in the market for sticker paper, this one is the waterproof, and it's almost kind of like. It feels like a vinyl-ish kind of consistency. Okay, next up is Netflix. That's due on the 9th, and that is $16. And put that down here on the 9th. And then, let's see, next is the electricity. And I have a little sticker for that too. Same shop, because again, 55 cents, you can't beat it. And aren't those just the cutest little light bulbs? So this is, see, I budgeted, I'm gonna budget 170 for the month. Just a nice even number. And the electricity bill typically is due right around the 10th. And these aren't really removable stickers, but I found like if I put something down, if it hasn't like been on there too, too long, I can peel it up and, and restick it, but it's not like a true um, sticker that is repositionable. Okay, next is the water bill, and you might be asking yourself, Lisa, do you have a sticker for that? And the answer is yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Here's the water bill due stickers. Again, are they just not the cutest? And they're just the perfect size so that not only can I put the sticker on here, but any events or you know anything else that I need to, to put on my calendar, I, I have room, which is really nice. So the water bill is 30. And the water bill is typically due right around the 20th of the month. And as I'm laying this sticker and talking, I realize I, I didn't paint my nail. The acrylic came off and it just chipped and I know that looks terrible, but I need to go have my nail fixed. I just have acrylic over my natural nail. I don't have any tips or anything like that. And the place where I've been getting them done, although they're really close to my house and convenient, they just don't do a very good job. So I'm gonna have to find another place to go because I'm disappointed that I just got these done not this past weekend, but the weekend before, and to already have the acrylic chip off is kind of a bummer. 
Um, let's see, what's next? We have the AT&T cell phone bill, and I have a sticker for that too. <laughs> this one is so cute. It has a little phone, and my phone bill is right around 40, oh hi Oreo, $44. And I'm thinking that I either didn't get this from the Thanksis, um, or maybe I sized it a little bit larger because looking at these others, they're all about the same size and this one's a little bit bigger. Um, let's see, this is gonna be due right around the 22nd. So um, the sizes, which I like about her Etsy shop is all of the downloadable um, stickers the sizing is on the actual file so you can you know exactly like what the width is supposed to be and the height and I think I'm, maybe this is just a different style than these but this one is a little bit bigger okay so next is my apple bill and that is kind of like um Netflix and Hulu and all that kind of good stuff so I am going to use the little cable bill sticker and Apple is 21 and some change. So we're gonna call it 22. And the Apple bill is right around the 28th of the month. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, 28th is over here, Lisa. Now, um, as far as like holidays in the month of May, we do have Mother's Day, which is next Sunday. And I'm gonna have to go buy my mommy something for Mother's Day. And then I do have two, yeah, two birthdays in the month of May. So I have these cute little happy birthday stickers. And again, same store, thanks sis. So my best friend's daughter, has a birthday on the 7th. So I'm gonna put that here. Well, maybe I'll do it up in the corner. Should we do it up in the corner? Yeah, let's, yeah. So many, so many choices. I do have another sticker that I'm gonna need to put down. So maybe I'll just put it up here at the top. So her birthday is on the 7th and then my niece has a birthday on the 25th. So we'll put a sticker there. I'll need to mail her um, $20 for her birthday. So those are all the birthdays for the month. Um, now, okay, I made these stickers myself. <laughs> um, and I did it in Canva. Are those not the cutest? I found this little Chihuahua, and this is that paper on paper label and see it just it barely wants to come up it's you really got to work to get it because it's just like literally paper i need to reprint this on the better sticker paper because i don't even let me see if i can find one okay that one comes up but i found this little chihuahua hopefully you can see that maybe if i'll stop moving it this little chihuahua icon and then i put flea and tick meds on the bottom. Is that not the cutest? So I made this in Canva and I did the, um, oh, what is it? Was it Canva that I did it in? No, I think I did this in the Cricut Design Space. I must have, because I did the, the outline, can't remember what it's called, but um, so that it would print around and then wrote flea and tick meds on the bottom. Is that not the cutest? And it kind of looks like Chewy. I don't know what day I am going to be giving him his flea and tick meds, so I'm gonna hold off on that one, but I wanted to show you that I made a sticker all by myself. Okay, so that's it for the bills. Now, every Friday is trash day, so I am gonna put a sticker down every Friday. I mean, I know when trash day is, but aren't they so fun and cute? I may be having a little bit uh, of fun with the stickers. I've never really used stickers before. Maybe just, you know, some functional stickers like Bill Do, but 
I'm really like having fun. Oh, see, Waterbill, I probably should have moved up a little bit, but that's okay. So trash day and last trash day on the 27th. And then my, um, my guy comes out to mow the lawn twice a month. And so these say mow the lawn. Now he came, did he come last week? No, I don't think he did. I think he's gonna come out. He should come out on the fifth because I think I've got him like right, right after I'm paid. And I just got paid this past Friday. So mow the lawn every other Thursday. So the two dates that he'll mow is the 5th and the 19th. Uh, let's see. Then I've got these little grocery shopping stickers and I do my grocery shopping on Saturdays. So um, do I, do I want to do them on Saturdays? Yes, I will do them on Saturdays. Um, so I do usually grocery shop on Saturday. Sometimes I wait until Sunday. It just kind of depends. It really depends on how much I need and what I need. But typically that happens on Saturdays. And then my meal prep day is Sunday. So last grocery shop. And then I have one more sticker and that is meal prep and meal prepping happens on Sunday. So whether that means to like made a, make a pot of beans in the instant pot or um, make some rice in the rice cooker, just anything that I can do to make the week a little bit easier in terms of meals. Now my daughter has a bunch of HelloFresh meals. Um, she got a box and then she switched her day for delivery. And when she did that, she ended up with like two weeks worth of food in one week, which really stunk because we're having a hard time getting through it. But so anyway, with that said, I mean, a lot of what we're eating for dinners is just HelloFresh. So I think that is everything. I've used all the stickers except for the little sticker that I made for Chewy's Flea and Tick Meds. And I think that's it for the month. I can't think of anything else that is happening. Um, but to let me know in the comments if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette and if you also do the, the print and cut files from Etsy shops and if you have any shops that you recommend. My favorite so far, um, let's see, this one was uh, Plan Ahead Printables. I like that shop. Romo Plans, which I've been using her um, sticker kits for my business budget. Thanks, sis. Um, what is it? Thanks, sis. Digital store. Yeah, thanks, sis. Di digital store for all these cute little icons. And then this, I don't know. Let me see if I can get it on my Etsy. Oh, please. Let me, let me see if I can pull this up on my iPad to show you where I got this from. So where's my Etsy app? There it is. Purchases. Is that it? I think, yeah, this is the one I think. Yeah, so this, the, um, the header and the date icons came from Design Lovely Studio um, on Etsy. And so just to show you, I've got, hopefully make sure I don't have anything like of my personal information on here. Okay, so here is the Thanks Sis digital store. So you can see I've got two things in my cart that I have my eye on that are 54 cents a piece. So 
Um, her sale ends in five hours. Can I resist and not purchase? I don't know. Um, but this, so she's got the cut files and the, um, the cut files in here for the, um, the Cricut. And then I think she also has the cut files for um, the Silhouette as well. So that's Thanks Sis. I showed you, did I show you the other one? Um, but anyway, so you can just see that I mean, you don't have to spend a lot on stickers and there are a lot of great sticker shops and I love their stuff, but I don't want to pay for shipping for something that is just like paper. And so this was a really good alternative. And there's one, so one thing that I haven't been able to find that I was kind of, I was kind of looking for was a printable version or some kind of stickers for the Budget Moms Budget by Paycheck Workbook. There are shops that sell the stickers, but they only mail them. They don't have like a digital option, which that was a bummer. And part of the reason why I came up with my own form, because I wanted to be able to put a sticker on it to make it look pretty. And the only way I could do that is if I just made it myself. So let me show you what I got so far. I haven't done my made budget yet, but this is the form. So I did create the form myself using Canva. It was really easy, but I do have this on my, I know you can't see the whole thing, but I have this um, listed in my Etsy shop. It's the, it has like, let me show you this other one. This is the heading. I don't want to show you my actual budget because I haven't filmed it yet. But it says May budget, and then I've got like paycheck, May paycheck one, two, and three um, up at the top. So it's like a total of four PDF files, and I'm pretty sure the PDF files are editable. So if you purchase it, you can change what is on the top. Um, but um, other than that, so I wanted to be able to put a sticker on top, and so... Like I got this, I think from Roma Plans. I think this is her sticker kit. And what I did was um, I laid the sticker down and then I just used like an X-Acto knife like this to cut, you know, to cut any excess off the top. The sticker kit came with May Budget. I just threw that on the top and that's why the colors in my boxes are green. It was to, you know, to make sure that it matches the uh the color of the of the stickers but anyway this has been a really long video but i'm like i'm really having way too much fun with stickers <laughs> i know but i got this um this cricket machine i wasn't really sure what i was gonna do with it i just knew i wanted one and i am i'm now using it almost every day cutting stickers because i have like some that i've purchased that i've just got kind of in a in a folder on my desktop and I'm just printing a page here and there but it's been super fun um to make my you know my calendars a little bit more colorful hope you guys enjoyed this video again this was my May calendar setup for May 2022 um I hope you guys have a wonderful month thank you so much for watching thank you for supporting my channel and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you're at bye